All right, we're gonna go to range today. We're gonna take the ransom assisted trigger system out and play around with. We're gonna meet up with some longtime friends of ours, Kurt Nelson, he's actually a gunsmith. He does a lot of machining on guns, 1911s, Remington 700s, Ruger 1022s. He don't just bolt the guns together, he actually machines them and precision machining gets them together. Jim Capano, he's actually with Able Consultants and Training. He's actually missing a leg. Uh, Feel free to ask him about Shark Week, and he actually trains disabled or handicapped on how to be defensible. We're going to meet up with these guys. We're going to take the rat system out, and one guy's going to play as uh, a new shooter, uh, an inexperienced new shooter, and the other one's going to going to be crump, grumpy old shooter who you can't teach him a thing. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to have some excitement, some fun. We're going to show you how the rat system works. But more all, we're going to have some handgun training on how properly hold and fire a handgun. Um, once again, with Able Consultants and Training, Wheelchair Weaponry, and we're going to be at Compass Training Center. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. Did you miss the cardboard? Twice. Dude, twice! <laughs> I was shooting like a Marine. <laughs> Obviously, something wrong with this gun. Yes, <laughs> here. I, I blame the ammo. The sights are off. The sights are off. Come on, I even did a tactical reload. <laughs> That's probably why I shot. I blame the ammo. Yeah, it's not gonna. Hi, I'm Jim, and I'm a new shooter. Hi, Jim. Hi. I know how to shoot. I watch YouTube. Uh, this is a this is a training gun, plastic. Tomorrow we'll gotcha. hit the firm. So pretty sure about that. Oh yeah. So problems we see on the range and in training classes with handguns usually comes down to three things: your stance, how you're standing when you're holding the gun, the grip that you have on the gun with your hands. And then the third one, and the one that gets us in the most trouble, is how we control the trigger. How we actually press a trigger, not pull or jerk one. So, we're dealing with that today. So, stance pretty simple. Feet shoulder width apart, okay? We don't need to be, we don't need to be tactical Timmy and cut the blow, blood fall off to our brain. But feet shoulder width apart, a little bend in the knees is, is a good start for a beginning shooter. The grip on a semi-automatic handgun, what we teach is, this is the back strap of the gun. We want to get the web of the hand as high up on the back strap as possible without interfering with the slide. We take that middle finger of that shooting hand and we're actually making contact with the bottom of the trigger guard. See a lot of this on the range, okay? So we can fix that. Finger off the trigger alongside the frame until our sights are on target and we're ready to shoot. The other fingers and the rest of the hand, we want the best skin on gun contact we could get, the most contact we can. So it looks good until we roll that gun over and we see that big air gap. That's going to make us lose control of, of the recoil and controlling the recoil of the gun when we actually shoot. So we can fix all of that. We can get you into a good stance. We can talk about stance for days. We'll get you in a good solid grip to start with, a good two-handed grip. Notice how on the semi-automatic the thumbs are stacked right on top of each other. And what's happening is when we grip the gun, when we come out, that hand with the gun in it, my right hand, is pushing out, and that left hand is somewhat pulling back. We get a pu push-pull motion. Think of the suspension system on your car. It doesn't make the bumps in the road go away, but it mitigates the bumps in the road. If you didn't have a suspension system on a car, it would be a crappy ride. So 
even after we get all of that set up, we got push-pull, and then we're squeezing the gun together. We want as much control of it as we can to try to control the north and south and the east and west of what that gun's going to want to do in our hands. If we, even if we get all of that perfect, then where do things go wrong? We come out on target, we take that finger, and we smash that trigger. And when we smash that trigger as a right-handed shooter, the next time you're at your local range, go look at the targets. Right-handed shooters will be predominantly low left because we're smashing that trigger. So that's a little bit of what we're here to talk about today with some of the equipment we have some Ransom Rest International, is how can we get the student over that smashing of the trigger and the anticipation of the recoil. I've been shooting for 80 years. You can't tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Be critical of your grip on the gun. One of the ways we commonly teach how you could practice this, I'm not sure if we're gonna get away with it in the wind, but we're gonna make sure the gun is completely downloaded Happy that that's downloaded. Check. Okay. MVP. Now, do me a favor. Take sure. the gun. Come up on target. Good grip and stance. Now, what I'd like you to try to do is just concentrate on the trigger and concentrate on pressing it straight to the rear. Nope. Cool. I'll take that from you. So we know, under conditions that we're comfortable with, Jim can press the trigger without disturbing that piece of brass on the slide. That can be a great training tool. That does not mimic live fire. So now we're gonna do live fire. I want you to, to use your best skills, okay? Take your time, there's no time limit, and go ahead and put three, four, five rounds on that whole side. See how we do. Not bad. A lot better than what we started with. Now, what was your point of aim? Was that orange dot in the middle? It was to my eyesight. It was to your eyesight. So as a, as a right-handed shooter, if we take that target and we put a good XY axis on it, while the shooting was fantastic, every single round is pretty much somewhat low and somewhat to the left. And that is his issue with the trigger. The shooting's fine. The group is great. It'll get the job done but how can we make that even better? Shoot before, you're kind of all over the target. We, so, so we've oh, talked God. about what a proper grip on a gun is, and we've talked about the, the need for that trigger control and that trigger press. Let's see how you do, now that we've dialed that in. Let's get a couple rounds down range. Just do like three, four rounds on that target and see how we do. Good sight picture, good sight alignment, good grip. There you go. Okay, put it on save, unload it. So same thing, major improvement from what we were doing earlier. Yeah. And you're a good shooter. And I'm sure your point of aim was that orange dot, correct? It was. But still, we're still just a little bit low. How can we dial, what's causing that to happen? And that's gonna be the, at this point, now that we're setting up the gun correctly in our hands, the only thing that can be is control of that trigger and control of that recoil. So how can we how can we get past that? Let's see what we can do to get past that. All right, we had a bunch of people hold the gun, kind of slap the trigger, and just quickly pull. They put their sights on target and just pulled the trigger. Um, we had girls, guys, young adults, older people. We're only going to show one or two people on this video, uh, but we had multiple. Uh, different people doing this um, and then we'll show the target and the targets very big and then we have, have them concentrate on the target pull the trigger appropriately and take their time and try to do the best shot they can and then we're going to actually attach the rat system ransom assisted trigger to the gun and we're going to have them concentrate and hold the gun while john stankowitz pushes the button so that's what's going on here this is the assisted trigger system um, we're gonna we're gonna typically use this firearm. It has a nice uh, slide safety. You can use any gun you possibly like. This gun has actually a palm safety. We're gonna use um, a gun that you can actually put it into a positive safety, um, and that'll work. As you see, this is completely disconnected right now. So we just loosen the thumb screw at the bottom, slide it in, and that engages the servo motor to the gun. 
because we're a right-handed, we're going to put the servo on the left-hand side so you could proper practice proper stance, having your thumbs in the proper place, having your finger along the frame, and practicing proper sight picture, proper stance, and then John will actually push the button. If you were a left-handed, you could put the servo motor onto the right side, and then that'll clean, that'll clear your trigger finger over here. But most of the people we're going to be shooting will be right-handed, so we have set this up to a left-handed stance. On a left-handed uh, servo, we're going to use a servo reverser. Um, this just plugs into the white stripe, white stripe, just like that, and then plugs into our extension cord, white on white, just like that. Plugs into the rat system with our button, like so, and then we turn it on. Before I turn it on, I always disconnect the motor from the gun. E stops press down. I hit the power button one time, it boots it up. I release this, that actually powers it up. And at that point, it is ready to go. Now we're actually gonna engage this into the gun now. We're gonna just loosen the thumb screw, go ahead and engage it in. We've already adjusted it where it needed to be. We're gonna drop the slide, just like that. We're gonna defeat the safety, safety's defeated. We know this gun's clear, we're gonna push that button and the gun goes off. That's how this operates. To make clear or make safe, you'll actually engage the safety. You may rack it back, put an ECI in. You can also disconnect the trigger quickly, disconnecting your finger off the trigger guard. At any point you hit E-stop, that shuts this thing down. That's how she works. Now the button don't work. As soon as to disengage, we disengage. Now she's functional again. We have two setups here. We're gonna we're gonna use the one that we we like the best, and it's gonna be this one. But we're gonna shoot both these guns today. You're gonna see them in in function: a Walther and a Springfield Armory. So stay tuned. Watch the rat system at work. Okay, now we're gonna give it a shot. We've we've shot with no assistance whatsoever. We tightened up your group and uh, tightened up your grip. Got that good and set, and that group tightened up really well. Now we're going to use the Ransom Rest Assisted Trigger System. So, what you're going to do is get your perfect grip. Take all the time that you need, get your perfect grip, keep that finger off the trigger and alongside the frame throughout the entire process. So good sight picture, good sight alignment. I want you to defeat the safety, and when you feel, when you feel that your sights are on target and your grip is as perfect as it's going to get, I want you to just tell me, set. Okay, hold on, my leg fell asleep. Set. Yeah! Who's your daddy? Go ahead and put it back on safe. Put it back down. There you go. Right there like that. Perfect. So, without you using the trigger, having a device to do it with good grip and good safety, bullseye. Nice job. job. What time is it? <laughs> it's almost lunch. You want to try it again? No, no. I. Oh, Dan left. He must be upset. <laughs> <laughs> didn't want to shoot for money. Sir? Chuckles All right, so we had you come up and shoot kind of willy-nilly, just shoot on your own a little bit. We we're all over the target. We worked on your grip, got that nice and tight. You were pressing the trigger really, really well. You had a good grip, but we were, we were still just slightly low and to the left. What we're going to do now is you're going to grip the gun as best you can, get the perfect grip for you, and then we're going to go ahead and defeat the safety. When you have good sight picture and you have good sight alignment and you're happy with your grip and the safety has been defeated, all you're going to tell me is that you're set. That's all I need to hear. Go ahead. Set. Nice. Go ahead and put it back on safe for me. And again, there we are right in the bullseye, tighten that up, nice. So you can kind of see there's certain input into the gun that you just really need to practice your way out of. The perfect grip, the perfect stance, everything looks perfect, everything feels perfect. But where is the money? Being able to come over and press that trigger straight to the rear without interfering with that package, without letting that, without that anticipation of recoil, okay? Without smashing the trigger. Here. When we take the 
power of you pressing the trigger away from you, we can get the grip, we can get proper stance, we can get proper sight picture and sight line on a bullseye and consistently hit it. You can do it too with enough practice. That's freaking awesome. That's freaking awesome. Thank you, John, for running us through the specifics of the RAT Ransom Assistant Trickly. We uh, originally designed this to assist disabled or those with mobility issues to be able to fire a gun, pellet gun, BB gun, real gun, rifle, or otherwise. But in evolution of this, we also wanted it for training purposes for this situation of removing that human flinch in the handgun world. Um, many police officers have used our cable remote system for years, and we believe this has surpassed that. So we appreciate you showing us the the slap in the trigger, improper stance and then proper stance today, and then what uh, removing that flinch or jerk really does. Yep. We were all easily an inch or two low and left, all of us were, and just the shots show us right on center, and that was not uh, any shenanigans or playing around. That is real world. No, that was real. That That's was real. It's real world. It worked out. So once again, John, thank you so much for your time today My pleasure. and showing how this uh, could be useful in this kind of training situation. Thank you. Okay. That's all. That is awesome. Yeah. Put those ears back on. I want to. Shoot before. You're kind of all over the target. We talked about what a proper grip actually looks like. I do got to tell you though, you're on the bottom of the totem pole for stance. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow. You said keep the jokes in. He's a real pushover. He's so a real pushover. So, so we've talked about what a proper grip on a gun is, and we've talked about the the need for that trigger control and that trigger press. Let's see how you do now that we've dialed.